Earlier this month, I went to see the comedian John Robbins on tour. Now, he quit drinking about a year ago, and a lot of his comedy routine was actually about why he stopped and the journey that he's been on since then. I know it sounds like a bit of a strange thing to joke about, but the way he did it really was incredibly funny, as well as deeply moving in places. So why am I telling you about this? Well, one of the things that he said during his show, and it was really just a throwaway line, was that one of the reasons he thinks alcohol is so addictive is because it doesn't really work. Like, it works just enough to keep you chasing it and keep you drinking, but it doesn't really work. It doesn't really do the thing that you are desperately looking for it to do. I thought this was a very smart observation. So let's say, for example, you drink because you're feeling stressed. When you've had a nightmare day, alcohol does seem to help a bit at first. It seems to relieve that stress for a short time. And there are these few moments where it seems as if oh, you've got some peace from the thoughts that have been making you feel stressed and your, your bad day. But then, you don't need me to tell you that the next day the same stress is still there and you're still gonna struggle to handle it. In fact, that stress probably seems even worse now because you're hungover, tired and actually less resilient. And you can see other things piling up on your plate and now the thought of a drink will seem even more appealing that second day because you're remembering how you felt for a few brief moments the night before when it all seemed to melt away for, I don't know, half an hour or something. We're always talking about a very, very short period of peace compared to the huge fallout that you deal with later that night and the next day in the early hours of the morning and beyond. So the reason alcohol is so addictive is because it doesn't really work. That's what he said. And I like it. It works just enough to keep you chasing it because you are getting the crumbs of something, but it doesn't really work. So let's say that you drink because you're anxious and you're probably thinking, well, Kate, alcohol seems to help me with that in the moment. And I agree, it probably does briefly make you feel less anxious. But later on, things are going to be much worse for you because... Alcohol is scientifically proven to increase your anxiety in the long term. So yet again, alcohol doesn't really work. Same thing with loneliness. Alcohol probably seems to ease that for a brief moment, but it doesn't really make the loneliness go away. Well, I mean, it doesn't make it go away at all, not really. It's still there the next day, only now it feels even harder to tackle. I could give you example after example like this, but rather than me talking, I want to encourage you to think about how this concept of alcohol not really working plays out in your life. So think about the main reason that you drink, the one that, the one that comes up the most often. And then rather than romanticizing alcohol, which is what most of us tend to do, we you know, talk alcohol up. Rather than doing that, I want you to start thinking about all the examples you have of how alcohol isn't working, how it isn't really doing that thing. You know, imagine if your doctor prescribed you something to help you with your anxiety and it seemed to work for a very short period of time right after you took it, but then your sleep was disrupted, you woke up feeling sick, tired, lethargic, you had increased anxiety the next day, particularly in the morning, and you know, you read the, the, the details about the drug and you discovered that, oh my gosh, it puts you at increased risk of cancer and all kinds of other illnesses. Would you be happy with that prescription? Or would you be going straight back to the doctor and demanding, demanding something better. 
I think you'd be back at the surgery pretty quickly because you know, you know that you deserve better than that. So my question is, why aren't you doing that with alcohol? Why are you putting up with a drug that doesn't really work? Doesn't really work. And that's my invitation for you. Over the next few days and weeks and the Christmas period when you might well be drinking, you don't need to change anything that you're doing. I just want to invite you to notice when alcohol's not working. Notice when you are getting the opposite of what you asked for and the opposite of what you need. Just observe that because it's important. And then if you want some help to approach sobriety in an easier way, in a healthier, happier, more empowering way, come and join my free New Year Masterclass. It's going to be almost a week of free content, training, ideas and community to get you on the right track with sobriety and in the right headspace. And I'll, I'll put a sign up box below this video so you can register for that if you feel called to do so. For now, I just wanna wish you a great week and remember to pay attention to whether alcohol is really working and whether it's really doing a good enough job for you because you deserve the best.